Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So a little while ago before Christmas, um, victoriasmoon.com offered to send me a paint by numbers kit to have a look at and see if I like. Um, so I finally got around to having a look. So obviously Christmas, everything got in the way. But um, yeah, it all looks quite arty, doesn't it, on the outside? I like it way it's all like DIY. I'm not, when I say have a look, I've not had a look inside at all yet. So we'll be getting it all out together. Um, when they mentioned about <coughs> sending me something, I thought, oh, I'm not sure I can handle another diamond painting kit. So I've not finished one I've got so far. But um, when I found it was painting my numbers, I thought I might enjoy that. And now I look at it, I'm like, wow, that is not going to be... That does not look easy, does it? And I asked for a small one and it still looks quite big. Um, I am definitely gonna give this a go though because I do enjoy using paints. Look at that, it looks tricky, doesn't it? I think it will all start to come together once you start to paint it. So inside the kit, you get three paint brushes and they will be useful anyway, because you've got some nice narrow tips, which are always useful. And a whole range of colors um which are all numbered paint by numbers that's how it works so yeah i'm gonna give give that a go and see what i think what we can do now oh, it's a bit rusty isn't it whilst um whilst whilst we're here let's get it open and have a closer look and see what we think not sure if i can actually try it out on camera without it going everywhere Ah, so you get little bits to put your picture up afterwards. Depends if I do any good. If it's a load, you know, if I mess it up, might not be going on the wall. But we've got to stay optimistic. That's what we say to children. Quite like that brush as well, actually. So, and have a little bit of a closer look in. Quite stiff, few loose hairs, but yep, they feel nice. Um, I think we can have a little go at starting this. I know it's not ideal the setup um, because you can't see, can't see everything. But what we'll do is we will start at the bottom and work up as we mean to go on. And I just happen to have some magnets here. Um, although, and I can't think of it. Only the top of my board is magnetised, isn't it? So we will start at the top and work our way down. So I'm sure you remember I purchased this board from the craft fair. You can't see that there, but I'm putting some magnets. It's magnetic at the top of the craft mat. So I can put, use the magnets to hold things down. Am I going to start at the top? Am I going to start in the middle? I feel like starting in the middle. Let's go for a big bit. Let's go for three and we'll just test it out to see what the quality of the paint is. So we now have a look. Can we find number three? I like that colour. It's like it's like white with a hint, a little hint of purple, a little hint of lilac. So we'll open it up. It hasn't all dried out. That's reassuring. Uh, 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 let's go for this one. And we can give it a go. So I can't look at the camera and do this. Actually, that paintbrush might start to annoy me after a little bit because it needs a slight trim. Get the old scissors out. Actually, it's going to damage those scissors because it's covered in paint. So these might, ones might have marked off that they're already damaged scissors. So I know I can do this. Oh, there's a herd of cats coming in this direction. It's got good coverage, hasn't it? It's covered up that number straight off. And the canvas has got quite a nice sort of plasticky feel to it. It's definitely a tough material, so it doesn't feel like your kind of typical um, canvas necessarily. But definitely nice and sturdy. So I don't do a lot of painting with acrylic paints, other than like um, the odd bit around when I'm kind of decoupaging and stuff. But I did enjoy it. Like when we went to New York, mentioned we went and did this painting in one of those like painting, like evening painting thing where you take your own drinks and you paint. And we really enjoyed that. And I got the painting hanging on the wall 
even though I wouldn't say it was a work of art, but um, it was good fun to do. So there we go. So this is going on nicely. Happy with how that's going on. Um, I'm not going to keep painting here forever. I'm sure you're not going to want to see. You'd, um, there were lots of very small bits, so I can see why they've definitely given you the small paintbrush. I remember that I had a choice of different paintings when they offered me this kit, but can I remember what the image is? The answer would be no. So, does it show you on here? I don't think it does show you. So who knows? It's going to be a surprise to me as much as it's a surprise to you. I can tell it's got a park bench in it because I can see that and a tree. I imagine it's a nice scenery because that would sound like something that I would like to paint. Um, and I'm also assuming that they have provided enough paint to do the entire thing. They will have presumably figured that out. So it doesn't look like it much in the pots, but because there's so many different colours, I think there's most likely going to be enough here. Just trying to get this number three bit. It's quite a bit three, isn't it? A few various different places. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be something quite relaxing to do of an evening. Um, and possibly my style more than the diamond painting. I love the diamond paintings. I think I just went too large with the last one. It will be gorgeous when it's finished. But that's going to be more of a long-term project. Whereas this is something I think I could sit down in a couple of hours and sort of work through a large amount of it. And then maybe, of course, you know, probably a couple of days it would take to do this over a few hours. Um, and you could get something to show for it, really, which it, which is nice. I like something that can be done in a not too long amount of time. Um and hopefully it would look like something I painted myself. Who knows? <laughs> so I'll put the details of the um, painting my numbers in the description box. It's definitely a painting my numbers for adult kit. Um, and it's definitely something I'm going to give a go. As I say, I do enjoy using paints. And I want to try and push myself to do different things. Yeah, let me know what you think. Is painting my numbers for adults the new craze? Is this something we're all going to get into? What do you think? Speak to you later. Bye.